All right, everyone, welcome to back to the channel today. I'm going to be sharing um, a quick introduction to my Ewing Drywood Goods Gentleman's Billfold. On the inside is uh, a partnership with May Leather. So it's this hand dyed natural leather. So let me uh, kind of give you a comparison on this whole thing. Um, so first off, I am obsessed with just veg tan leather, especially natural leather. Um, as a contrast, uh, this one, this wallet, I've been carrying it around for the better part of a year. And this is what a year's worth of everyday wear is going to look. So let's compare the two together. And obviously you can tell my obsession with leather because my desk mat is also this natural veg tan leather. And one of the beauties is over time, it's gonna look like this. And so I think it's kind of cool to have um, something that looks like this. So let's go do a little review. I'm gonna leave a link into Daniel's, uh, his name's also Daniel, Daniel Ewing's website. Um, I did a custom request. I asked for a natural veg tan undyed leather on the outside. And it's new, so it's it's kind of thick, it's creaky. It's what happens with new leather, especially nat natural veg tan leather. It, tends to be a little hard. It takes a while to break in. And that's part of the beauty. I mean, this thing used to be the same color. So check that. Um, it's generally, it's a little large. Um, so what are we at? Here's my iPhone mini. So it's a little bit bigger than my iPhone mini. And um, there's a little snap that holds it shut. So snap it open. And on the inside, um, Two duplicate sides for one, two, three card slots. So six total card slots and just this general gigantic uh, pocket for cash and other things. This is definitely not a um, low profile wallet. It's going to be something that's a little bit on the bigger side. And um, so it comes with a little lanyard. A little brass hook lanyard right here. And um, and then the, the little cord is made out of this same hand dyed, kind of very psychedelic look. And it attaches to this upper corner right here. So I'm going to remove the lanyard for now, just so we can navigate a little bit easier. And make sure you get some a nice view into this. I love the uh, May leather design because I think just it's very psychedelic, just a hand made, hand dyed color. And I'd be very interested to see how this ages over time. Again, the pockets are a little creaky. It's going to take a while to fill up these pockets with cards, everything. And so I think for my personal use, this is going to be something I will carry inside a jacket or it's going to go in my backpack and hooked into with the lanyard. Um, and this is brand new. So we're going to come back probably a year from now and we'll see a new comparison. I'll probably get something new to compare this against. But um, I think what I love about natural veg tan leather is that over time it kind of forms this beautiful patina, kind of car caramel golden color. Um, and it keeps getting better. So it keeps getting softer. And I think the color keeps getting really, really nice. This desk mat is going to change over time. And um, one more area of detail to look at. I think the uh, edges, whenever you buy a product, leather goods, um, just check for the edging. This is finished. So what he does is he burnishes. So basically you're putting a little bit of water and maybe some other product there. And what you're doing is you're rubbing it until it kind of forms this hard edge surface. And so if you get a leather good, maybe like this desk mat here, this is unfinished, so it's just a cut, and that's it. So um, this is it. I'm going to give you a little bit of sound so you can get a sense of what this sounds like. I'm going to move the mic so you can hear the creaking, and we'll call it a day. Thanks for visiting, and I hope you enjoyed just uh, the Ewing Dry Goods Gentleman's Billfold.
with Lanyard in partnership with Made Leather. And I'm really excited for this wallet. We'll see you in the next one.